Hello, this is Actor Thomas, doing a review of the very first episode of Only Fools and Horses from 1981. Hello, and today we're going to do a Only Fools and Horses episode review. So, today's episode is called A Slow Bus to Chinkford. And this episode opens up with Rodney trying to impress a girl that he's brought back to the flat. And uh, Rodney is not the most accomplished, accomplished individual when it comes to seducing women. And then uh, Del basically runs in and ruins it by informing Rodney that he's got him a job. And it is a nocturnal security officer and to anyone that's got a brain or knows Dell they will realize one of those is a uh, security guard a new company that Dell set up called Trotter Watch now Dell has already got a contract for Trotter Watch and it is for the local bus depot, or coach depot. So, um, next night, um, Rodney goes to the, the depot with Dell, and uh, you see him all basically dressed up in his uniform, which we uh, discover is a traffic warden's uniform, but Dell ex uh, uh, Del gets rid of that idea of Rodney's mind by saying that the TW doesn't stand for Traffic Warden, it stands for Trotter Watch. Like I said, it's pretty silly. Um, so, Rodney's like, well look, I can't do this by myself, you know, I need to have some kind of backup or, you know, at least an you know, a watchdog to come out with me. And, uh, Rodney, uh, Dell has thought of that, and he's decided to give Rodney his girlfriend's dog the chance of being a watchdog. And that doesn't really work. Then, uh, Dell says, well, alright, look, I'll see you in the morning. Just, uh, make sure that the bus is alright, you know, no one tries to break in or anything like that. It's it's all good. And as uh, Dell walks off to the van to go home, um, Rodney starts to whistle. And Dell deciding to want to wind him up, thinks it'd be a good idea to whistle back. That freaks Rodney out, and he's uh, basically a nerve wreck for the rest of the evening. Then, the next morning, uh, Rodney is completely and utterly drained of all energy. He's only just got in about an hour ago. And, uh, Rodney and Del wakes him up. And then Del, just, um, is, him and Grandad are talking about, kind of, you know, how Grandad used to be a, a night watchman during the war. Then... Over this evening, Dell has an idea, and he starts telling uh, Grandad and Rodney about it. It's called Trotter's Ethnic Tours, and it's all about basically going to ethnic London. Then Rodney's like, "Hang on, why are you telling me this?" And Dell's like. Well, I need someone to drive the bus. So Dell has an idea in his head that Rodney can be a night watchman, have an hour or two sleep, and then get out on a coach and drive around London while Dell starts spouting rubbish about London, like where Jack the Ripper was buried, or where Sherlock Holmes was born, or any of this kind of garbage. So... Dell puts his action 
puts his plan into action and uh, gets leaflets and flyers printed and uh, says to Grandad, go far and wide in round London and give out these um, posters, these flyers. Grandad says, sure, why not? I'll do that for you. So the next day, Rodney, Grandad and Dell are waiting at the location that says on the flyers the coach will be leaving from, waiting for people to arrive. But nobody does. And it's so disheartening for Dell. Because Dell's like, no, no, come on. Then, um, after a long time of waiting, Dell, Rodney, and Grandad go up to the top floor of the bus. And Dell starts telling them great big ideas about becoming a millionaire and how much he's going to, you know, how he's going to change their lives and how he's going to make them bigger and better people than they already are. And then Dell plans out his own. He's got an image in his mind of him and Rodney with a couple of women on a big balcony on the top of their um, their business head headquarters. On top of them are the initials of their company, Trotters Independent Traders. Which, of course, if you look at their initials, it says tit. So, um, after that, uh, Dell sort of uh, comes up with the idea says, stuff it. Obviously, no one's going to come, so it's just take the coach back to the, the depot and you go back, you get, you get ready for work this evening and let's go. So they're driving back to the, um, to the to Nelson Mandela house and uh, they get out and Rodney's going to go up to the flat and get changed and before they do that, Dell tells Grandad to throw the uh, the, f the sign saying Trotter's Ethnic Tours in in the bin and uh, as he's doing that um, Rodney sees that all the flyers that Grandad was meant to hand out around London are all at the bottom of this at the, at the bottom of this bin and he uh, shows Dell and Dell goes completely berserk you know threatening to you know, hit Grandad and they start chasing after him and Rodney chasing after them to uh, try and stop Dell from hurting the grandfather. This episode of Only Fools and Horses. So this episode of Only Fools and Horses, a slow bush, slow bus to uh, Chinkford. I'm going to give a um, number of um, number two because I think it's it's a very funny episode. It shows the light-hearted um, kind of business plans of Dell and his sort of his opportunities to take the Mickey out of Rodney and the idea of even though Grandad is old. He's still able to outwit both of his grandchildren, which I think is incredibly funny and very heartening to anyone that um, loves their grandparents and everything like that. So yeah, that's why I've given uh, that to this episode. So thank you very much and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.